WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Now you guys WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. The iconic cherry trees around the Tidal Basin are officially in stage five. That is puffy white, leaving us with just peak bloom to go. Now, predicted peak bloom from the National Park Service was originally March 23rd through the 26th, but we have been flying through the stages and will likely hit peak bloom either over the weekend or sometime early next week. Now, that might have you wondering how will the weather impact those beautiful blossoms because we are talking about cooler weather on the way and some wind as well. The trees typically stay in bloom for several days, but much like us, they like fair, tranquil weather. Rain and wind are the enemy once we do get to peak bloom. But I will say this, since we are just going to see peak bloom either right around or just after all of that wind, we will be just fine. The blooms are much stronger just after peak bloom than they are, say, a week or so after they've been in peak bloom. They become much more susceptible to rain and wind once they've been in blossom for a while. So really not concerned with the weather as we look ahead toward next week, even if we do see peak bloom over the next couple of days. Now, as you plan your trip down to the Tidal Basin, a reminder, you cannot touch the cherry trees. Please do not pick the blossoms. Certainly don't climb on the trees. We all need to respect the cherry trees so we can all all enjoy them for many more years to come. But let's talk more about the wind because you will notice it starting to pick up on Sunday. Nothing like the wind we saw last Sunday and Monday, but a noticeable breeze throughout the afternoon, gusting anywhere from 20 to maybe 30 miles per hour. We'll do it all again on Monday, starting the morning with a noticeable breeze and seeing that wind pick up in the second half of the day coming in from the north and west up to about 30 miles per hour. I think Tuesday afternoon looks like the blusteriest day next week with wind gusting possibly up to 30, 35 miles per hour. It's going to feel even colder than it actually is. That wind coming in from the north and west will usher in cooler temperatures as we head through the weekend. We're talking mid to upper 60s both Saturday and Sunday, which yes is cooler than it's been, but still about 10 degrees above where we should be for this time in March. It starts to feel a little more seasonable as we kick off next week. High temperature 56 degrees. That's really right where we should be for this time in March. And then we bottom out on Tuesday. By Tuesday morning, we're going to wake up to temperatures near if not below freezing. We'll stay right around 35 degrees in DC, but below the freezing mark outside of the district. And when it comes to our cherry trees, they're really only threatened once temperatures drop below 27 degrees. We'll be almost 10 degrees above that. So really no concern for the cherry trees, even though we are getting a little bit cooler and a little bit windier as we look ahead toward next week.